You may not believe how powerful the table format can be in ChatGPT. You can use them for idea generation, variations or alternatives on things you've already been developing, new products or new businesses, new jokes, brainstorming, whatever you can imagine. I absolutely love the table format and you will too if you hang out with me for a few minutes. First thing we're gonna do is start with a craft prompt because we'll get much better results if we take a bit more time up front writing a better prompt. So what is craft? I'll show you quickly, but I actually have an entire video on it linked below, so you can check that out as well. Craft is a prompt methodology based on the acronym C-R-A-F-T. Context, role, action, format, and target. So let's see how we use it to create a table about meal planning. First off, you can see that I'm using ChatGPT4 here and that I've enabled a couple of the extra features. And then we jump into the first thing, which is the context, which I'm saying that I'm an intermediate cook with some experience creating intricate meals. I would like to try some new recipes as I'm getting tired of making the same meals. My favorite types of food include Italian, French, Mexican, Japanese, and Mediterranean. I'm actually not an intermediate cook, but I thought I would give us a little chance here. Next thing we go into the role. And of course here I just say, please act as a chef and a meal planner with more than a decade of experience creating original meal plans that can be achieved by a cook with intermediate experience. Next, we jump into the action dialogue of the prompt, where I say, please create a set of dinner options for one week. Please include the food type, a brief meal description, estimated cost, level of sophistication, and cooking times. Also, I say, please do not self-reference or explain what you're doing, which is a nice way to keep chat focused. Next, let's jump into the format section of the dialogue. Here, of course, we're talking about tables, so I say please provide the information in table format with abbreviated column headers. Lastly, we're going into the target section where I say these are meals for two adults with no dietary restrictions, so please plan the ingredients list accordingly. This is great because you can say I have a dietary restriction of this, that, and the other thing, or these meals are being planned for children, or whatever it might be. It just helps chat to know what it's trying to accomplish and who the audience is. So now let's see what sort of results we get. Immediately you can see in the table it's created the things that I've requested, the day of the week, the type of cuisine, the meal itself, estimated cost, the sophistication level, and then of course the cook time. And it's given me a really nice set of options for the entire week. Let's jump in to one of the selections. We'll just go with Monday. And it looks like for Monday we've done an Italian meal that is homemade lasagna. Cool, so the next thing I say here is, Please provide a detailed set of cooking instructions for the Monday meal, including the ingredients list. So of course, ChatGPT comes back with the homemade lasagna option with all the ingredients listed here, wonderful, as well as a set of sequential cooking instructions. Very nice. Now, just to get things really moving here, I've decided to add these ingredients to my Instacart. So that was one of the plugins that I enabled at the top. And now we can see that chat is populated that list over to my Instacart feed, and we can see all the ingredients listed here in Instacart, as well as some of the ingredients that it assumes that I may already have, which is just a nice option that I can add or take away at the end. Okay, cool, so now let's jump into the next example, which is gonna be a stretching routine, and we're gonna do the craft method again here. So I say, I exercise regularly, but I remain very sore one to two days after each workout. I would like to explore new stretching routines to improve my recovery time. I give a few more details there, and then we jump into the role. So I'm asking chat to act as a physical therapist and a flexibility coach with more than a decade of experience creating stretching and calisthenics routines for recreational athletes. Then of course, we're going into the action step. Here I say, please create a seven day routine that will help me improve my flexibility and reduce the risk of injury. Again, I like to say, please do not self-reference or explain what you're doing. Next, we're going into the format category. And of course, because we're doing tables here, we say, please provide this information in table format. Now, the difference here is that I'm asking chat to create the column headers on my behalf. And in this case, I say, write column headers that you feel are most appropriate for the content you are providing. And then lastly, of course, we say the target. In this case, that's me. So I say, I'm a 40 plus year old man with no major injuries or physical limitations. And then it gives me a great result. So at the top of the table here, you can see it's created the day of the week, the warm up, the stretching, and then a cool down. And each day it looks like it created 
new routines for me that are gonna be pretty cool. So once I've reviewed the entire table, you can see here at the bottom it says, a couple additional notes, given the user specific details about how to move ahead with the routines that it's provided. And of course, at the very end, it asks you to consult your doctor or physical therapist before starting this or any exercise program. Now that I've checked out the table and I like the results, I asked chat to provide detailed instructions for the stretching described in the Monday routine. And look at these results, very cool. It gives me a detailed breakdown of each one of the stretches that it mentions above on the table. And I can follow these through uh, in thorough and elaborate detail. And ideally it covers all my needs. Of course, if I wanna take it further, I could ask it to provide more details on each day of the week. And then I could print those out and have a nice stretching routine. Okay, and for the last example, this is super cool. I'm gonna ask it to plan a trip for me. So again, I use the craft method here. And for the context, I say that I'm looking to take a trip at the end of the summer to an international city. I've said that I have a budget of $1,000, excluding airfare, because I'm gonna use points for that. And I'd like the destination to be a country that is less than 14 hours from my home base. And my plan is to visit for a week. So no surprise here, I tell chat to play the role of an international trip planner. And the key here is that I say, I want it to take me to places that have well-known and lesser known sites and destinations around the world. For the action section, one of the keys here is that I ask it to include recommended popular activities as well as recommended lesser known activities. And then of course, for the format section, I tell it to put it in a table format and to choose headers that it believes are the best for the data requested. Lastly, of course, I say the trip is for one person, so it budgets accordingly. All right, so let's check out the results. Great table. It's got my destination, estimated flight time, recommended activities that are both popular and lesser known, recommended areas to stay, and then the estimated cost. So it looks like it's come up with Mexico City, Montreal, Reykjavik, Iceland, Lisbon, Portugal, and Quito, Ecuador. Lots of cool options here. So I'm really loving the way this table came out. I think based on what I'm seeing here though, I'm gonna choose Reykjavik, Iceland, and I just like the well-known and lesser known itineraries or experiences that it's created. It looks like it's well within my budget here or close to within my budget. So what I'm gonna ask next is, please provide me with the full itinerary for the trip to Iceland. Let's see what it does. All right, cool. So I said I wanted a one week itinerary and it looks like it's given me broken out details for each day of my trip. Okay, so for day one, looks pretty basic here. We've got our arrival, and then we're just walking around Reykjavik and doing some basic exploration. And then for day two, we jump into the Golden Circle Tour. All right, so let's see what that's all about. Okay, so we're gonna drop some of these names into a quick search here and look at some of the images for these. Oh my gosh, this national park looks absolutely amazing. Uh, just beautiful pictures here, so wow. Okay, super cool. I'm liking this tour. Okay, let's jump over to uh, day three, it looks like the Blue Lagoon, so I'm familiar with this one. Day four, oh my gosh, a whole bunch of places that I can't pronounce. And is that real life? <laughs> Look at that. The waterfall with the Northern Lights, that's pretty amazing. Okay, I think I'm pretty well sold. And then we've got this beautiful uh, video of some more flowing water. Wow, that's just spectacular. Okay, I'm totally sold on Iceland and Reykjavik, etc. So I think we've narrowed it down. Uh, and this is a really great trip, cool. And then of course, if you wanna take this a bit further, you can use one of the plugins to go to Expedia and it can give you more exact details, including ability to book trips, etc. So check that out. As usual, you can see all of my tips and tricks in the detail section of this video description below, as well as free, totally unlocked, ungated material on my website, also linked below. Please tell me your favorite way to use tables in the comments. And if you need help with specific prompts, please be sure to ask. I'm here to help. See you next time.